you know, I was a food and beverage director for years and years. Um, and the hotel side, uh, the hotel inspector thing, rumbling on alongside it is uh, really such fun for me to do. But can you, Alex, can you go out for a meal or go away for the weekend and, and not be inspecting, do you know what I mean? <laughs> or judging or going, this is not quite right. You know, can you just go and enjoy a nice weekend away? I do try to. It must be really but difficult. I am, I am quite critical and, um, and my husband's quite critical too. So, but I think partly that's part of the pleasure, picking holes in anything. Right. And we very, the thing is, if there's good service, you will forgive anything. Yes. If someone, That's if you're true. treated with a smile, if you have someone charming, if you have someone who's really concerned about whether you're having a good time or not, mm. then you'll forgive almost any other mistake. And we're not good, the Brits, at complaining, are we? Even if it is terrible. We go, oh, no, it was lovely, it was fine. It's very frustrating as a hotelier, as a restaurateur, because actually people tend to take to the internet to vent right. their irritation. And that's quite annoying, because I do still think that face-to-face -face, um, chance to sort something out is yeah. one that's so often missed. If I come up to you and say at breakfast and say, is everything all right, and you've mm. had a terrible dinner, right. and you say to me, yes, I've had a lovely time, mm. why would you not tell me and get me to apologise and get me to sort it out or show some appreciation Well, that's to true, because you? you're only going to improve if you know what's wrong. But if you just think everything's great because people are saying how fantastic it is, then you just merely think everything's okay until you look in the internet and get a shock. Yes, and then mm. you have very little way to go back sure. from that, to row back from that.